Stephen, uh, how do you sum that one up? <laughs> um, I'm laughing because I've no idea what to say. There were so many things wrong, particularly the first half, there were so many things wrong with our performance that had disappointed us. You know, we spoke about trying to get ownership of the game and making two or three passes and trying to build some sort of play. We just couldn't do that. Um, you know, we go ahead after a minute and for the second game in a row, it, it probably affects you going ahead so early. That sounds silly to say, but, you know, we didn't pick up after that. To suddenly find ourselves 3-1 down, it could have been 4 or 5, to be fair, the chances they had. But I think we have to give credit to the players. You know, they found a way to win. And I think it's a great trait to have as a young player or a, or a young side is to somehow find ways of winning games where people don't expect you to win. But I continually say to them, you can't keep giving yourselves a mountain to climb. You know, Kilmarnock away from home at Livingston, remember we spoke getting beat 2-0 and we came back and, and get a draw out of the game. Rangers. The fifth time. Yeah, it's the fifth time and it, it's tough, you know. Yes, they keep plugging away, but I would like to see them taking the lead and hold the lead and, and show some maturity and composure and, on the ball and, 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 and make things happen. But ultimately, you know, we've won a game, which is great. Um, you know, my job is to now go and analyse it and try and get information back to the players. Is it balls that's won you that game? Well, bottle, yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah, it, it does. It takes that, you know, it takes that from young players to step up. And I think when it went 3 2, I genuinely felt we could get something out of the game because, you know, Keith said it in the dressing room, they suddenly started speaking to each other. They looked as if their fitness had come back again. And sometimes when you're getting beat 3 1 and things aren't going your way, and Dylan Falk had a couple of great chances and, you know, with shots on goal and you think it's not going to be our day, it suddenly goes to 3 2 from a, you know, a terrific strike from Luke Watt. It probably summed up everything about Luke's career at the minute. He's dribbling forward, he gets caught in the ball gives it away easily, somehow does a drag back, takes three men out of the game and puts it in the top corner. I mean, you can't coach someone you know, to do that. So it shows he has ability. But there's other aspects of the game we have to work on. So um, yes, it does take ball. It takes bravery as well to push on and sometimes leave three for three at the back. And, and, and takes it takes people to make good decisions. And it takes clinical finishing. I, I, I had a real pop at Dylan Macker in half time because I felt he could have been better. He scored after the first minute, put his tools away and didn't play for the rest of the half. For someone with you know, the physique and the size he has, he has to make more of an impact in the game. He has to make more of an impact against his opponent. And I felt second half after having a go at him, you know, he went and done that. You'll be disappointed as a coach. You mentioned some of the aspects and the chances your team conceded. You'll also be frustrated, no doubt, with the goals that they conceded because some of them at times you'll be tearing your hair out. Well, it is because, you know, the first one's a simple ball over the top. You know, one long ball over the top takes out our full back four. Our goalkeeper's standing on his goal line. You know, so he's too deep. So there's so many things wrong with communication and things going on. Um, and the, the second goal is a set play. You know, it, we never seem to get scrappy set play goals. You know, they always go and put their head on things. So stuff we have to learn. When the ball's there, you've got to go and be brave and head it. You've got to kick it away. I can't even remember what the third goal was. I think it was Ben Hogg had done down the outside. Ben was not strong enough down the outside. You know, when you're playing against Simon Murray, who's played um, senior football, then you have to be a little bit stronger, a little, a little bit more brave. He wasn't that. So um, that's disappointing. Um, but we have to move on from that. But again, I know it's to repeat ourselves again, eight minutes to go to be 3-1 down to win the game. Your team, despite the, the problems they have, deserve credit. Of course they do. You know, that's, you know, you have to get into a winning mentality or a way of somehow winning games when you don't think you're playing well enough. You know, it's a great trait as an individual, you know, first and foremost to keep going. Hopefully that'll give them a lot of belief, looking at games ahead and thinking, you know, we can actually score goals. I think what you get in the under-20s is, is that the players at the top end of the pitch, if they're influential and they're decent, I mean, Dundee United had five boys at the top end of the pitch today who've all played first-team football at some level. And that's the difference. You know, they have a little bit more quality, a little bit more composure, a little bit more strength, a little bit more speed. Um, so I said they are younger boys. You know, we were quite a young side today. I said we have to make an impact in the game. If we can make an impact at the top end of the pitch, we'll win games, we'll influence games, and eventually, you know, we've done that. I suppose in under twenties football as well, it's a real advertisement for actually coming along and watching these games because the entertainment you get is yeah. incredible. I mean, if if the game had finished up twenty one twenty today to somebody, it, it wouldn't have been an injustice. I mean, chances upon chances, they'll be disappointed somehow to throw away, you know, a, a lead of three one when they probably had four or five chances to put it to bed. But even at three one down, we were disappointed not to be anywhere near level because we had some great chances in play. So, you know, it's youthful enthusiasm. I always speak about and excitement and and energy and 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 you know naivety at times as well. Yes, we have to be better in certain aspects, but if you get the guts and determination we've got there, with a little bit more quality and better defending, then you know we can be anything we want. Stephen Milder. Thank you.